Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about multiplying a fraction by its reciprocal is equal to 1. We have an example problem here. What fraction will Jobin multiply to 2 thirds that will give a product of 1? Let us write the equation first. 2 thirds times whatever fraction is it is equal to 1. Okay, now let us think of a fraction that when we multiply to 2 thirds, the answer is 1. Let us use trial and error method to answer this question. What if we will multiply 2 thirds to 10 sixths? Will it give you a product of 1? We'll have it. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. This is not our answer because it is not giving us 1. We have to delete this one because this is not correct. Any suggestions? What if we will multiply it to 6 fourths? 2 times 6 is equal to 12 and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Oops. 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. Is it possible that our answer is 6 fourths? Our answer could be 6 fourths. What if we will reduce 6 fourths to its lowest terms? That is 3 halves. Okay, let's do that. 2 thirds times 3 halves is equal to 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 3 times 2 is equal to also to 6 or equal to 1 so it gets 3 halves 3 halves is the lowest term of 6 fourths means we'll get the lowest term because anyway 3 halves is equal to 6 fourths so for this problem our answer will be 3 halves when you multiply 2 thirds and 3 halves, that will give you a product of 1. We may call 2 thirds and 3 halves as reciprocal numbers. When the product of two fractions is equal to 1, each fraction is called a reciprocal of the other. The reciprocal of a fraction is a fraction obtained by switching the values in the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. So if you notice, the numerator here becomes the denominator and the denominator here becomes the numerator. So that's the trick there. Let us have some exercises. Give the reciprocal of the following fractions. We have the first question and that is a whole number and it is 7. Remember that any whole number has a denominator of 1. Let's rewrite that. 7 over 1. We can already give our reciprocal because the trick was to interchange our numerator and denominator. So that will give us 1 over 7. Because if you are going to multiply 7 times 1, that will give us 7. And 1 times 7, that will give us 7. It means 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. So the reciprocal of 7 is 1 over 7. We have the second number, that's 1 eighth. This is very easy because all we need to do is to interchange. That will give us 8 over 1. And 8 over 1, when you multiply it to 1 eighth, that will give us 1 times 8 is equal to 8, 8 times 1 is equal to 8 or 1. Our answer for this question is 8 over 1, but 8 over 1 is not yet final answer. We have to simplify 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. Our answer for number 2 is equal to 8. And that is our final answer. Number 3, we have 2 and 1 fourth. We cannot interchange right away the numerator and denominator because what we have here is a mixed number. This is a different case. We have to change first 2 and 1 fourth to its improper fraction. So let us change 2 and 1 fourth to its improper fraction. You still remember how to do that? Okay, let's do it here. 2 times 4 
is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. That will become 9 and then copy our denominator which is 4. Then we can already give the receptacle of 9 fourths. Let us just interchange that. That's going to be 4 ninths because if we're going to multiply 9 fourths and 4 ninths that will give us 9 times 4 is equal to 36 4 times 9 is equal to 36 or 1. Our answer for number 3 is 4 ninths. And we're done. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!